Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or welcome back as the case may be. We are on day 29 of our 1001 tarot readings, and today we are using a new deck, which is really new because I only bought it yesterday, two days ago. Again, time time is ephemeral, it, it changes. So we are going to be showing off the Chromatic Fates deck this week, because I purchased it from one of the artists who contributed a card, but we'll get more into that in a little bit. So as I said, this week we are going to be using the Chromatic Fates tarot deck for our 1001 readings, and I was exceptionally blessed to be able to not only part attend but also give a panel at the Denver convention over the weekend. While there, I came across the booth of uh, Laura, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna say your last name wrong, uh, Garbadian, Garbadian? Laura, she's incredible. It, we ended up talking for almost, between a half hour and 45 minutes, just in front of her booth about tarot, about why I was there, and um, I will give a better view of her business card for those who are interested, but I want to show off why I bought this deck, and it was actually her card. So in this deck, she made the Five of Coins, which looks like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Actually, this entire deck is gorgeous. Um, each of the cards has a slightly different art style because they were all drawn by a different person, but it leads to having an incredibly robust deck. Today's reading is about moving to a new place. It's a three card reading. And as I said, we're using the Chromatic Fates. So card number one is, should I look for a place local? Do I just need to switch houses or switch apartments, stay somewhere local? Card two is, do I need a total relocation? We're gonna compare and contrast. Card three is, what happens if I just stay where I am? Let's find out what the Chromatic Fates has to tell us. And uh, the cards are so gorgeous. So one of the reasons that these cards really caught my eye is if you look at the edges, it, it's, it's beautiful. And the backs of the cards also, uh, and the fronts of most of the cards uh, also are shiny. So what can I say? I'm a sucker for shiny things. All right, let's see what card number one is. All right, card number one, card number two, card number three. Okay. So card number one is the Six of Swords. And here it is. And if you look real close in the border, is that the right side? No, it's on this side. You'll actually see the name of the artist of each of the cards. Uh, so that's up in this corner on each of them. Uh, so that is for staying local. Card number two is the Knight of Swords. Oh, I suppose I could actually call out the, the names of the artists. So this one is Narjiz Jafari for the Six of Swords. And Katji Bermelin for the Knight of Swords. And our third card is the Four of Cups by Megan Coach. So, card number one, which is the Six of Swords, should I move locally? That is a very painful choice. That, that doesn't seem like a particularly good option. Um, 
just looking at the artwork, <laughs> we've got someone impaled. Um, and I'm sorry, I can't read Roman numerals today. That's the Nine of Swords. <laughs> no wonder my brain was like, wait, that meaning doesn't line up in my brain. Um, Roman numerals and a tired brain. Nine of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Nine of Swords is dread, anxiety, trauma. Probably don't want to move to a local place. Okay, card number two for moving far away is the Knight of Swords. So we will show it again. This is a more... If you put the work in, it will work out. There is a growing opportunity here to move further afield. Make sure that you are prepared to make that change, to face the challenge, because it will be a challenge, but doable, conquerable. For staying in the same house, we have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups can be a lot of things. The word that comes to mind right now is introspection. It's consider, first off, why are you considering moving? What are your reasons for staying? Because all of this, these three cards in particular, first off, both of the options for moving are swords. That's challenge. That's difficulty. Compare that to cups for the staying where you are. Cups is emotion. Which emotion is keeping you or in... Which emotion is drawing you to stay where you currently are? Examine those emotions and determine, is it better to face the challenge of the move? In this case, particularly the move far away. Or are those emotions that are keeping you at the same location more important? That being said, that's reading number 29. I am very excited to be using the Chromatic Fates deck this week. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!